everyone. Welcome to Free Family Day with the Schneider Museum of Art. My name is Isabel and I'll be taking us through today's craft activity. Today we will be making and painting our own birdhouse. Um, the kit that we are using is by Made By Me. It has everything you need. Of course, you can add in your own supplies or anything else you want to create your own fun special little birdhouse. I hope everyone enjoys this activity and while we are settling into fall and birds are moving away, this is perfect for when they come back in spring. Hope you enjoy and make sure to share your creations with us on our social medias or via email. Thank you! Alright, so we are going to start building our birdhouse. It comes with all the supplies you need. Um, it does have a tiny little bottle of glue, but um, you're always welcome to use your own supplies as well or in addition. And so following the instructions, we start with the back of the house, which is this part. And it does have little pictures to follow, which I think is super handy. And so you want the little peg holes facing up. And then you have your sides to the house, which are... So these two are the roof, so these sides to the house. So these line up in the peg holes, set them there. And so you can apply glue to them, but right now I'm just assembling it to show you how it's done. But you are supposed to apply glue to the peg holes. I'm just making sure everything lines up first. And so these, there we go, line up like that. So these two pieces make up the roof, the ones with the little side. And then this is, of course, is the bottom. It has um, some words printed on it. But let me go ahead and take these little pieces off so I can put some glue on. I'll just be using the glue provided. So it says to just put some glue in the little pig holes. You of course can add more glue, but I'm just going to do this. So the glue does come out the side, so if you are not wanting that on the outside of your birdhouse, just make sure to take a little piece of paper towel or anything, piece of paper is really handy, and just kind of wipe that up. That way there's no marks. And then put some more glue, these peg holes for the front of the birdhouse. This part is a little tricky, but doable. Oops. I'm gonna go ahead and rotate this so I can get a better look. There we go. this way. And so after you put the sides on, you put the front on when you're going to it says according to directions, we put the bottom on the house. Almost missed a step. So I'm going to do it so that way the words are facing inside. So that way you don't see it when looking at the birdhouse. I'm gonna go ahead and flip this upwards. Pop 
pop these in there. Nice. And so I'm going to apply a little bit of glue to the inside just to secure it. And it does not come with a lot of glue, so I do actually recommend using some additional glue. All dependent, of course, on how much you plan to use the birdhouse or where you plan to put it. So if I were to put this outside, I of course would want to use some pretty strong glue, make sure it stands up to the weather, but I will be keeping this inside as a little decoration. So do this. And so this little whole part, this little hole goes up on the top. I'm going to go ahead and put glue in little pig holes again. But it goes towards the top because that's where the little rope will be threaded through. So that way you can hang your birdhouse. Go ahead. line it up. There we go. <laughs> Those on. Got a little bit of glue coming out. So I'll just kind of wipe that up as I go. Then I shall do the same to the other side. I'm doing it so that way the angled parts are facing each other. seems to be a little wiggly, but there we go. All right. So now I have a fully assembled birdhouse, which is awesome. Looks great. You know, wipe up that glue. And I did use the cardboard provided in the kit that everything comes wrapped in as a base because I'm working with glue and paint. And so now comes the fun part is decorating. So you of course can wait till the glue is dry just so that way it is fully secure before you start working on it. But I am going to go ahead and start painting and you can do whatever designs, whatever colors you want to. I'm actually going to use some of the provided little wood cutouts. So it comes with fences, some flowers, little birds. Um, I believe these are additional birds. Like when you see the little M shapes in the background of a painting, um, but they can be whatever you want. So I, well first actually, I'll put the little peg in. Almost forgot about the peg. This is the little front piece. There's a tiny hole in the front. Put that there. So it looks like an even cuter little birdhouse. And then I'm going to put the fencing on one side. I'm just going to apply... Oh, actually, wrong about this. This has adhesive on it so it has a paper backing on one side and so you can peel that off very gently so you don't rip it like I do. You can peel it off and it's pretty sticky. I'm just gonna place that 
right here on the side. Pretty cute. I'm just checking my birdhouse again. It seems like one side popped out again. Okay, there we go. Much better. Right. So, I'm gonna do the other fence to the other side. Cause why not? Again, I recommend being careful. Of course, these are pieces of wood, so you could get a splinter. It would be pretty easy to break one of these pieces of wood if you pulled hard enough, so. Just practice some patience and gentleness when working with it. Put this on the other side. Wonderful. And now comes the fun part, painting. So I'm not gonna do a whole lot. I do really like the color of the natural wood, but I am going to do just a little bit. So I want this to have red fence. I'm gonna go ahead and carefully open up the red paint. Comes with a paintbrush provided, which is awesome. And then I'm just going to go ahead, paint those. And you, of course, can paint all your little additions, like the birds, the fence. You can do that before you stick them to the birdhouse. So that way you don't get paint on the actual birdhouse if you just want it on the accessories. But you, I would recommend waiting for it to dry if you do that. So painting these and then waiting a little bit for them to dry and then putting them on the birdhouse so that way you don't get paint all over your hands. But then again, a little paint never hurt anybody. So I'm just going through painting the fins, but I will not bore y'all with the little details of everything um, because at this point, it is completely up to interpretation of how you want to decorate, how you want to make it look. Um, the last thing I will show y'all is it does come with some twine to hang it from. Of course, it's completely dependent on where you want to place it, but you can just kind of thread it through, carefully pull it up, and then I'm not going to tug on it since the glue is drying, but you can see, oh, you can't see, you can see it does have the string so that way I can hang it when it is ready. Cool. All right, so that will be it for today. I'm going to keep working on this, adding a little bit more paint, make it all pretty. Um, yeah, so I hope you all really enjoy this activity. I know I did. Um, make sure to share your birdhouses with us on our social medias or via email. I would absolutely love to see what y'all created. Um, I believe that's it. If y'all have any questions, of course, feel free to email us. The instructions are really great. It does come with a couple of photos for when you're assembling, which is awesome. But I hope everyone out there is staying safe and staying healthy. Thank you. Bye. Mm -hmm.